Israel people. Yeah, man. Well, tell people all over the world to live like one. We need unity. We need to unite because I feel like a lot of things happen because we don't we, we don't have union. We don't unite. What is your name? My name is Margarita Martinez Pumir. And San Andres, San Andres. Welcome. My name is Maxi. You know, I would like to invite you people from the world. Will be the deep water redfish like Eloy, mm -hmm. Eloy snapper, Redai snapper, Mandilos. Right, uh, rising. My, my activity that I do for uh, for gain my bread every day is being a tourist guy. But this is uh, San Andres. San Andres. Are you are you Colombian? Yes, I'm Colombian. I'm from right here. I'm citizen. Nice. I am not Colombian. I'm from San Andres Island. Colombian speaks Spanish. We all don't speak Spanish. This is the blind hole. The blowing hole. Yeah, we in Spanish we call it Oyo Soplador. Right here is a geyser that blows water and wind. My name is Katisha and I went to tend to my friend that come back from the United States. Okay, so Katisha, I came for you, not for the blowing hole. For what? <laughs> I came for you. The Rizalan people, an Afro-Caribbean community that was born in San Andres, Colombia, who speak English Creole. If you were to tell me about these people years ago, I might not believe you. But since I spent so much time in Latin America, I've come to hear about them. So I made a trip to San Andres, the island in Colombia to learn more about their identity. What's going on guys? I'm back here in San Andres and we're in one of these uh, off cart 4x4 situations here and we're heading to go take a full tour of the island supposedly you can see the whole island within 45 minutes or something like that um, so we're gonna go parts of the island we haven't seen so far plus I'm on a hunt looking for rising okay what is rising ace what are we looking for rising is actually the indigenous people from the island here uh, the black people here the people who speak a particular type of patois language okay it's been hard for me to find I've been coming across some of them that work in this tourist area right here pretty much this whole island is like a tourist area but I've been coming across some rising but uh, hopefully we can go to a community that's all rising uh, I have a meeting with a young woman who's supposed to give me some good info but anyways enjoy the tour hit that like button because we're about to see parts of the island you ain't never seen before we all going I'm taking you with me let's go Shout out MVP in the building right now. Alright guys, so now we're entering new territory I haven't seen before. Still some hotels here. This is one of your exclusive hotels. Most expensive place, I think, by far to stay at. I wanted to stay here, um, but the prices got so high, man. It was starting to be around $500 a night to stay here. So I decided not to stay here, but interesting place. It's probably one of your most modern in this place you can stay. It has a lot of pools there. Very comfortable place. Maybe next time. Yeah, I said next time because I feel like I do want to come back here. Uh, there's not enough time to get things done, but fingers crossed. Next time we'll, we'll have the opportunity to do some amazing things here. Yeah, that's the airport right there. We're crossing the airport area. And I think we're going to be heading towards where you can see the, the sign that says, I love San Andres, but we're going to be going pretty much from this angle all the way around there. Okay, so here we go. This is the sign that says, I love San Andreas right there. Okay. We actually walked down this far for the nightlife video. Check out that blue, blue water right here. Yeah, it looks like there was some erosion going on on the beach. But you see some nice uh, wave action. You know, you kind of get a respect for the strength of the ocean right here. The first two days I've been here, the weather was really good. Then for the next couple of days, the weather's got really gloomy. 
So, I mean, you can't control the weather because you can plan these trips and you'll come out and, ah, uh, you know, but one thing for sure, people don't let that stop them from having a good time. So regardless of the weather, people still are coming out, enjoying the beach. They'll still go to the beach, even if it's raining. They'll still come out for nightlife and they'll still try to have the best time they can have. So if I could just speak on the weather, that's what that's what to be expected. But uh, I mean, the scenery is a beautiful scenery. So now we're getting our first look at some residential homes over here. Uh, this is where some of the people live. As you can see, if you look at the shoreline, you can see there might have been some form of debris. Uh, if you haven't known, this island and another island got hit by a hurricane. You can see the tiles over here. It's cleaning up and some parts of the road they have blocked off for various reasons. I guess maybe they don't want people to fall off. <laughs> So they, put, they blocked up the roads, but yeah, this place got hit with a hurricane and it came from this angle right here, this shoreline. But uh, real interesting, let's check out some of these homes as we drive by. Oh uh, wow, look at that, look what that did, wow. Knocked down. All right guys, so check this out. We got a guy hurting some town. Let me see where we at, guys. Check out what's going on. Uh, got, got my man hurling in some cow right here. What's going on, player? Yeah. You rising? Yeah. I came all the way from the United States to find people who rising, man. You rising? Everybody rising here? Nice to meet you. How you guys doing, man? I'm a YouTuber, and I wanted to learn about the people of this island. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So this is your uh, this is your cattle. Yeah, yes. Every day you walk them. Every day I bring them down here to, to feed. Oh, nice and yeah. nice, and they they provide uh, food or milk for the the milk island. Food, yes, sir. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, nice. Man. Nice to hey, meet you. Up, up. Okay. What neighborhood is this? Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Um, what's the name of this neighborhood? I don't know. Uh, this is the new one. It's right here. You can speak to her. Okay, this is a restaurant? This is a restaurant. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hello, uh, hello owner. Where are you? Where oh, she's busy right now. <laughs> uh, she's giving a tea. She does that. Okay, okay, okay. You see, when I hear that, how you're talking, I'm thinking you're from Jamaica, you're from Bahamas, or you're from some other island more closer to the United States. Yeah. But this is uh, San Andres. San Andres. Are you are you Colombian? Yes, I'm Colombian. I'm from right here. I'm citizen. Nice. I'm not Colombian. I'm from San Andres Island. Colombian speaks Spanish. We all don't speak Spanish. Well, that's what I came to learn. I wanted to know, know about the, the. I am not Colombian. You're not Colombian. No, I'm San Andres. So is that Ryzen? Ryzen. I am San. I rise from San Andres Island. Not Colombian. Okay. Colombian is from Bogota, Cartagena, <laughs> those places. Okay. There is Colombian. Okay. I speak perfect English with you. Colombian don't speak English. So so Spanish. My name is Leon. What is your name? Beautiful. My name is Lydia Fabiola Brandstein. Love your name, Lydia. What is what food you have here? I I, I want to eat some rising food. But you want to eat it right now? Because it's, I like it's not ready? I have combs ready, but I have to we, wait. I'm, I'm here to learn about your culture. So what, okay, what, what do I, you have? I can offer you combs, fried potato, salad, 
Let's like get let me let me get some conk. Okay. That's why I love me some conk. I want to see how you guys make it here. <laughs> okay. No problem. All right. Okay. I'll fry potato and make salad for you. You know, I was um, asking a lot of people uh, where are the rice in here. It was hard for me to find because there's a lot of people that just speak Spanish here. I speak the two languages. Tu hablas español. I hablas español. Yo hablo español. Hablo perfectamente como los paña, como dicen nosotros. Oh my God! <laughs> I love how you you're, it just switched from one to the next. It's so it's so awesome. But I speak more English because English people. Okay. I am not Spanish people. Okay, okay. Yeah. Spanish people is from Omar, where? Where did the Ogotan, where does the risings originate from? I w that's what I'm here for. Where the English come from? Yeah. We are we are was from Inglaterra, mom. Yes, We all is from for England, but England they stay so far, so they turned we are to Colombia. So they left. Yeah, so we are not Colombian. Okay, so the we English are, were occupying this island? Here was for England. Mm -hmm. But England turned we and give us to Colombia. Okay. Colombia don't give us nothing because look on that whole stuff where the hurricane blow up. You know, I hear a lot of people, people a lot of people upset. I hear a lot of people are upset about that. They don't get sold no aid up to now. What happened here? The whole stuff come on. It's a car by heaven. It's a black car by so this is a carp to to cover it when it rain water run like nothing in here. So next week when I get the money, I'm going to fix it. Nice, nice, nice. So what what would you do to you? Would put metal on there? What would you do? I just have the plastic beer. Okay. Till next when I can't buy the thing, then fix it. Okay. I'll bed mattress everything well. Okay. So who who's this young lady right here? Is she is she cooking food for us? Um, she's the helper with the next lady. Oh, she's the helper. Are you rising too? Yes. Yeah, nice to meet you. Talk to the Re man. Some Talk some her. rising don't speak English. She speak English. She speak English. All of us is Islanders. All of us is Islanders. Oh, nice, nice. Now, I was asking some some people uh, when I was over there, like, where where can I go? So that's why we got in the uh, 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 just, just driving around. No, I see the man with the cattle. I said, stop the car. <laughs> 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 so that's why I came here. <laughs> it's not a beautiful restaurant, but they want to eat something good. I believe it. I believe it. I, I'm from the islands too. Well, my family's from the islands, but not uh, obviously not San Andres. You want to try the bread too? You eat a la concha then? Yeah, man. Okay. You eat bread. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? What is bread? How are you? What is that? Pass one of the bread food. Let me see. Bread food. Let me get some chair. Let me get a chair so I can. I love you. This breadfruit. is the breadfruit. Okay. Wow. Wow. I I I, I want to say Guayana Bana. What is it? Guanabana? Is it in Panyol? Como se llama? Breadfruit. 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 Yeah. Okay. Is this a, is sweet or is it? No. It's no. eat it like fried planted. Let me fried try. Potato. We have it ready. You go and ready. Then go and ready. Okay. okay. Who's gonna it. Who's gonna do it? The chef right here. <laughs> Are you rising? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm doing a documentary about the people from uh, oh, San Andreas. No problem. I don't have no problem. Okay, so tell me about your life here, living as a ri uh, yeah. rising. Uh, my my activity that I do for uh, for gain my bread every day is being a tourist guy. That is in like a, a, a little lake that we have on the hill yeah. where you go and you feeds um, caimans mm. uh, we call jacare and you feed them we do them a sounding like this and the, which mean the fish or what no jacare is like some little caimans okay then you feed them on the saddle and we do them a like this that went through you can stand in front of them you can touch mm -hmm. those little uh, those caimans and take picture and you have a cave tree too where you enter it inter inside to the tree I you hear a little bit about the history from the island when it was discovered who discovered it how it came to be for Colombia you hear a little bit too about the um, the well, our language that is Creole you hear how it was made how, how it's made 
So the, 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 the language you're speaking is considered Creole? The um, well, right now I'm speaking English. Okay, so what is Creole? Wait a minute. Creole, Creole is, is like, a, it's like a Caribbean English. But it's deeper. It's what like, it's like um, made it by the slaves that belongs to the Englands, that they pronounce the English more shorter and more faster. Like you say, I say, um, what are you doing? And Creole we say, what do they do? Mm, okay. So that's it. if I told you, where are you going now? And Creole say, where are you going? Ah, okay, I got you. That is Creole, like it's pronounced similar more to What I've heard from like Jamaica, or yeah. I heard from St. Kitts yes. or Bahamas, and it's an, it's interesting how you guys are different, but similar. You know, when I was watching, are you from where? I'm I'm born in Miami. My parents are from Haiti. Your parents are from here. No, no, no. My parents are from Haiti, but I was born in Miami. Haiti. Haiti. Oh. Yeah. But uh, so our, our our Creole is totally different. Yeah. It's like a French French. It's different because mm -hmm. I hear like the Creole from there that's like diff are mixed. Yeah. Right here, our Creole is only English, pronounced shorter and more faster. So we can say it's, it's a broken English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, let me let me ask you a question, right? Because I've been watching um, TV here, Tele Isla, right? And Tele Isla says we have our own identity. Yeah. What does that mean to you when they say uh, Tele Isla is like a channel uh, you can watch in Colombia, and it pretty much broadcasts stuff from this island? Um, our identity is our that is is totally something different. When you came to Colombia. Or you came to San Andres, you you find two different customs, mm. two different people, different language, different religions, different style to live. Mm. Okay. So that's that's what I was. So some people, you are rising, and you know. I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be a lot of people who watch this video are gonna be so shocked to hear you guys speak. You know, because it's it's interesting that we are accustomed to that but not hearing it in Colombia so I think that's gonna be so awesome for people to see about that and then your, your culture is different so talk, talk about your hair is this this new well, style or that's your style hair, this time I hear well really that my, my mom there is what who would call me mm -hmm. always um, put this a little bit you know mm -hmm. and that is what uh, is your new style yeah, that, that is my style, you know. Okay. My way, my way to beat myself, you know. Okay, okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. Okay, what about the music you guys like to listen to? Well, yeah. really, yeah, I love. Well, really, I love to hear like dancehall. Uh huh. Um, we hear um, country music. We hear reggae. We hear when country. you mean country music? With Freddie Fender and support. Hold on. Do you listen to Johnny Cash or no? Yeah, we listen to all those. We you listen to Johnny Cash? Ah, those music. No way! Listen, yesterday I was walking down the street and I heard country music and I was like, why am I, why am I hearing country music in, in Latin America? <laughs> you guys love I love country. that. Okay, who's your favorite on country artist? Um, Freddie Fender, Lucky Dubin, I listen to him too. And I love um, Jim Reeves. Jim Reese? The old, old, old one. Wow, wow. That you is know, my you guys favorite. are surprising me every every time you open your mouth. <laughs> so you like country music? I yeah. love well, I, I hear I hear a little bit of everyone. Okay. Know? I hear love country music. Well, when I hear country music, I like um, Loretta. Okay. I like to hear too, and um, Charlie Pride. Uh, all different artists from country, but really what I, I love to hear more is like dancehall. And we have to like you said dance hall. What is that dance hall? Dance hall is like uh, oh dance hall. Dance hall. Dance okay, hall. Okay. Okay. Yes, and we heard to um, a little bit of uh, calypso. Oh, okay. Polka, mento, chatis, mm -hmm. mazurka. Uh, I saw a gentleman going crazy last night. He was dancing to um, what's it? It's a something that a lot of you hear in Barranquilla, Colombia. It's a uh, they dance. Oh, champeta. 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 But see, champeta is not native from the island. Okay. Really, what what is our music is Creole. Is Creole. That is like a dancehall too. Mm -hmm. You have a exponent like Haitian Sambo, 
And when we go to Calypso, we have Caribbean new style. Do you, we guys Real play cool. compa here? Yes. Sometimes native. I hear compa in the um, video, the video show here. Y'all play it? Yes. Really. Okay. So um, that is for our music that we hear, Caribbean music. Okay, straight everything Caribbean. Yes, it's like the same music that like you hear in Jamaica, you hear in Trinidad, in Tobago. And um, we hear the same type of music. Awesome. And we have our music that proper from the island too. Okay. So, but you know, all of us are Caribbean. We keep like nearly similar. Mm. They, our culture are similar. Our way to live is similar. Mm. But everyone got our own identity, our own style to live. You know. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. He he ate already, but I gotta go him. Hey, friend. Guys, um, we have um, some conch. This is a the fried the. the Red fruit. Oh, so this is the breadfruit right here that she was showing me earlier. Some lettuce and some soup right here, okay? Okay, the combs. You clean it. It come with a different with a skin with your hot potato. Mm -hmm. When it's finished clean it, you beat it. Mm -hmm. When it don't beat it, you grate to your coconut. Oh, you put some I coconut? I it with coconut milk. Wow, <laughs> nice. You put onion, garlic, sweet pepper, black pepper. Mm. Natural, you don't put no maggi, mm -hmm. nothing like that oh, in it. Okay, no artificial, um, no artificial in it. Oh, oh, okay, season, okay, it's natural seasoning, natural season. Okay, mm -hmm. wow, I, you got me excited. So and then the soup pepper. right here, no. the soup, mm -hmm. you put in the soup, we have a thing that means sasona ray out of maggi. You know, seasoned with onion, the sasona ray, garlic, sweet pepper, a little vinegar. And you leave it making bile. Mm -hmm. Okay. The sweet pepper give it color. Nice. So don't wow. put no artificial color. Nothing artificial here, guys. And then this is this a. Uh, uh, but it's panela water. Okay, panela water. So sugar cane um, sugar juice. Sugar cane juice. Okay, okay, yeah. So we cook. With plenty lime. Okay, alright. So this is going to be my first time eating conch in San Andres. Try some of this conch. Yes. I love me some conch, guys. Let's try. Mmm. So good. So she's telling me her love for black men. <laughs> I don't love black man. I don't like clear man. <laughs> clear man. Black man I don't she don't love like black. She like black man. No clear man. No clear man. Oh, okay. Clear man. Panya kosi negra. Oh, you don't like that. That is what the panya then cost a black people. Oh, negra. I want to get your land. Then get television and get host. Yeah, it's negative. You're the black. Now, now I say get married to you and everything. I, the black uh, I know, I know what that means. Of course I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the plantain they were telling me. It's not plantain, it's breadfruit, guys. And it you really tastes the good. Mm. You didn't take the picture of it? Yeah, yes, really. Oh. It's really good, guys. It's our... Uh, it's like a potato. It tastes like a potato, but it's different, though. Mm -hmm. You have salt if you want to put more. Mm. Yes. And you are from where? Huh? You are from where? Where I'm from? From, from like here? Miami. Miami? He's from Miami. Ah. So in Miami, there's so many um, different cultures there. See. A lot of people from different parts. So you born, born, born here, no? no uh, I was born in Miami. In Miami. Born and raised in Miami. Uh -huh. uh, my parents are Haitian. Mi padre is Haiti. 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 Si, mi padre is Haiti. Haiti. Pero nació en Miami. Y yo, yo soy un YouTuber que viaja a todas partes. Ahora yo estoy aquí en Colombia. ¿Me entiendes? Claro, yo entiendo. Y que trabajando en barco turista que ha viajado todo. I, I just want to hear to speak Spanish. That's why. I, I wanted to hear you guys speak Spanish because I think it's so interesting how you have like good accents from both parts, English Spanish and English. So growing up, is that a prerequisite? You have to learn Spanish or is it the first thing you learn is Spanish or the first thing you learn is Patois? No, it's not we don't speak Patois. I mean Creole. We can Creole. Creole. We can speak also and we first we can English. English or and we are that English and we start Creole. And then we learn to speak Spanish also. But our native language is Creole and English. We can speak English and we can speak Creole. 
Nice. And nice. we love, we like, it's Spanish. Okay. I can speak Spanish very well. Okay, as far as activity is done, right? Like yesterday was a holiday or something. What you guys were doing? We yes, go to the beach. Yeah. No, I was no, right here cooking. Cooking. We was working, cooking. Okay. 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 Yeah, Do you guys have like a special holiday on the island that you guys celebrate? Maybe a well, carnival well, or we have like the Emancipation Week, yeah. where it's like a week of your um, um, cultural activities, mm. um, celebration, okay. have concerts, Queen concerts. When, when, um, when, when is that? If I not make mistake, it's like in March. Nice. In March, and it's like a week totally mm -hmm. um, of your activi native activities. Now, okay, so what is what is one of the things you guys do as a native activity? Well, we take and we do a um, boxcar race. Boxcar race? Yes. Really? So you make your own boxcar? Yeah, do boxcar. After we, we, we go and a hill camp, and then we red scan down the hill. Nice. Yes. And it's a big event, everybody shows up? A big event, everybody is right here. We have to the horse race. It's like a native activity too from the island. We have, we go to, we have bonga car race. We have- That gotta be like the best time to be on the island. Everybody's drinking, enjoying their time. Do you have guys have chicha? Salchicha? Uh, no, um, your own alcohol here. Oh, you, do you make your own beer or wine here? No, so, no, no. Yeah, we, 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 they I make, make my own they wine. Make, they make. I have a wine tree around the back. This girl, this girl back. has everything. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I, have a grape, I have a grape tree where they make grape juice out, where they make the juice. Okay. I, I make wine with it. Nice. I pull the bucket of the juice, of the grape, show the sugar and cover it for a couple of days when they open, it for me in own self a bucket of wine. Mm -hmm. This is the nicest thing you and can you, do. I'm assuming. You add mm -hmm. ease in it, it turns like a rummy drunk. You can't drink too much. I'm assuming your family um, help uh, teach you how to make this food? or My great grandmother, Celedonia, just a great great grandmother. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother, Telma Pumir. Wow, and they show you how All to do it? All of them is dead now. Are they, are they the one that owned this restaurant before you or you started no, it? Not here, in San Luis. I was a little child. Every Saturday I have to bake a hundred bread, a hundred bones. Where's San Luis? A little bit the next part of the oh, island. No, no, okay. Yeah. The other side of the island. It's like the other, um, the other, um, um, like I said, like Circumbalar on the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is San Luis. When you're going wrong, you look, uh, end up in San Luis. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. By you know what? Old, old grandparents. Let me eat this food because <laughs> I want to eat, but I'm so interested. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. But this food is really good, especially this cock right here, guys. Hold on, you you said you sleep in a container when the hurricane come. My container is right over there. A blue container. When the hurricane come? When it begin, lift up the top of the boom, bam, boom. See all those stick broke. Oh I'm my gonna, gosh. I'm going to fix back over the whole world. And the government not doing nothing up to now. Hmm. Up to now they don't give us money. Did they say they're planning to or? They're sending things in Providence and do they look on we are in the island. Oh, they, and probably you don't sell. Yeah, because they mash up. They never leave. I heard nothing. it's really, it's terrible over there. There's no home there right now. No. Then bust the assistant and get in it. That is what saves them. Wow. You know you make a system of water mm. and let out all the water and get in the system. Ah. They never do that, them dead. If it didn't happen. If they never do that. Wow. Where's the container? Let me see your the can Go right up to the top you see. A blue container. A blue container. Right there! Yeah. That metal container over there! You. All right, okay. And you are welcome here. Oh, thank you. No, what is the I name of this is restaurant? If there is it online or Fabiola. Fabiola? Restaurante Fabiola, kilometro 7, terminal de buses. ¿Qué tal hablando? ¿Está hablando español o Yo hablo español, yo hablo lo que sea, pero no me gusta hablarlo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to her. She's amazing. I love her. Ooh, okay. I love you. Okay. Uh, Let me, I'm gonna go over there. How you go? We go over that way. Oh, okay. okay. So it's interesting to see how certain people um, learn to survive when the hurricane came over here. 
And as you heard her say that, that Per Beyonce uh, did have it rough, um, but she said she was staying in a blue container. This is where she was staying, right? And now uh, let's check out this container that uh, pretty much saved her during the hurricane. And you can only imagine not only her, but other people probably came up with the same idea to do the same. I mean, it's super sturdy. It's super heavy. But the, the noise coming from this thing, getting hit by water, had to be insane. Not knowing exactly what's going on, seems like there might be some power being ran. But it was one of these containers she stayed in. I, I went to go look at the container. You had light in there? Nothing. At what were you hearing when I, you... I care on mattress and sleep on the floor. Did, what you heard? Did you hear a noise? Ooh, 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 just the breeze. You don't hear bam, bam, nothing hitting the me. Just the breeze and the shake it up. <laughs> oh, wow. Shake it. Is it in Providence, it takes up a, it's a, it's a big container. container. In Providence. In Providence. Live it up and turn like that, like it, like it meshes back. Wow. And thank God, you know, it was it was other people in the um, container or doing the same thing or. No, no, no. The guy was me one day. You by yourself? I live here. No, you live with your lover. <laughs> you not by yourself. Your lover. I live here. <laughs> Oh yeah? I met her. I see me going boom and the zinc and flying boom boom behind. And this is for the hurricane that just passed. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. Right, so this is her son right here. And um he's a fisherman. What type of fish you grab here you find here? Well, actually Yahoo, red snapper, deep water redfish, mm -hmm. um, kingfish, mahi mahi. Nice. Fara, atun, all different type of fish. Wow, wow, wow. What is the specialty you notice that people love from this island? Or is the fish that everybody wants most? Will be the deep water redfish, like Eloi, mm -hmm. Eloi snapper, red eye snapper, mandilos. So, like, how often do you go out to go get the fish or? Okay, well, the distance that I go is about, about two miles from here. And I go every day, every day fishing. Do you, how do you feel being in the sea? It's something excellent, man. It's Pacific, nice. Do, okay, um, what about, do you um, find conch or did you go deep diving no, for... No, I stay in the launch, I line fishing in. Okay. I, I don't dive. Okay, okay. I only use line fishing in. Nice, nice. Huh? Thank you, brother. Okay, Appreciate it. Okay, let's see if we can find some more people from the island and I'll learn more about this place, the identity of this place. Hi. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna show us uh, something real cool. Alright. This is the type of day I've been waiting for. <laughs> no, for real, I love um, learning about culture, people, new people, and um, you know, getting advice from you guys telling me where to go. You know what I mean? Alright. So, welcome here to know a little bit of what is our culture, our way to live. So, we will go and we find others, guys like me, like native people from the island that you can sit and talk with. All right, cool, let's do it. Okay, so people, native people live here. Yeah, this is a native community. This is a Risa community. A Risa community. And what's the name of it called again? His name is El Limbal and Coke. Okay, Limbal and Coke. Okay, nice. Wow, it looks like some, it's really nice, like a regular neighborhood community. Yeah. Looks nice. Nice neighborhood. Yeah, this is, this is, you live in this area? It's a cool living right here. See? Huh? Where uh, the native communities yeah. is like where is cool spot. It's the nicest part to live. Okay. Because see where are the bees that where the part of the residence people live yeah. is where like is more hot. Okay. Because there are people that cut like different um Different culture, different ways to live. So they yeah, are like more, 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 more hot zone, dangerous to go. Okay. So this part, uh, main nice part, you start to live, to have fun with your family. Okay. So you see, we are in this paint. 
in the middle of the island. San Andreas have 27 square kilometer and they have like the third biggest coral wharf in the world. Coral reef or? Coral reef. The biggest one is the one from Australia. The second one is the one from Belize. And the third one is the one from San Andreas. Well, San Andreas from family was um, colonized in 18, in 18, sorry, sorry, in 1629. Mm -hmm by the English. It was colonized in 1629 by the English and yeah. then when um, but the one that um, was discovered the island before mm -hmm. was um, Morgan. Morgan. Morgan was a Captain cursor. Morgan? Yes, Captain Morgan. Okay. Morgan was a cursor. What is a cursor? As a pirate that have like permission to thief. Oh, to he, he had permission from what um, country? From, from England. Okay. So he could attack like Spain, Spain boats on others, um, different country, but he cannot thief non English boat. <laughs> okay, no, so that was the deal. So well, it makes sense. You want you know, you don't want your competition doing okay. well. So, look, <laughs> what was the condition? The English will, will finance his um, his sailing. So, he was living on this island. He used the island like he's even not living where he make his his attack. He'll land yes. here yes. in this area strategically and whenever he, he wanted he'll go to he can go raft right. He go anywhere he want to Do, go. Did he keep some of his treasure here or something? Yes. They say in the cave, um where is one of the touristic places got us? Yeah. Is where he used to go um, to uh, hide his t-shirts. You have all these dogs here, man. They're not yeah. afraid of the... No. It's like they're best friends or something? You see, um, they, they have like respect, mutual respect. Are you guys feeding them or how do they eat? We feed them. We fish them. This is the closest I've ever been to one of these real things. We feed them. <laughs> they don't make no moves, man. You guys feed them, so maybe that's why they, they're... Now we feed them and don't look at us as a, as a danger. They look at you as time to eat. <laughs> you see? Right there we touch them. They don't be aggressive, they're not in. Why you can touch him too? No problem. Uh, no, nah, I'm good with that, man. <laughs> I feel I feel like it would be my lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll go ahead and give him a touch right there in the tail, see what's going you see? on. Uh, why well, they don't attack watch me you. lose my, my camera yeah. hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why why we don't why they don't attack us? Because you see, right here we we mine. Well, his skin is so nice. Wow. Right here we protect those animals. Yeah. We don't make no one hit them with rocks, sticks, and nothing like that. How we feel them? them. Mm How -hmm. we feel? So they look at us like like a like a natural brother. See? Okay. So they don't look at us like danger. So that the reason when they see us, they look at us like okay, like, native. Like 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 say like family. Family. So. But wait, let me ask you a question. So this can't be your biggest one, is it? Where are the big boys? At? Um. Well, they call like what I told you. They are the smallest type of caimans. Oh, they don't grow bigger than this? They grow a little bit bigger because like how I told you, they grow like okay. one meter 80 to two meter. At the moment, this is the biggest one we have. On all those things. Oh, look Look how he wants to walk. See, they are, they are waiting for we fit. I'm going to get like... Look how he's walking. Like a straight torpedo. <laughs> What was all that talking about? I heard that like these things can't run. They can run fast, but only in a straight line. So if you run zigzag, they're gonna have a hard time catching you. Oh, oh. Whoa, man, you a pimp at that. I live in Atlanta. I got some other brothers here from the island. What's going on? And San Andres, San Andres. Welcome. My name is Maxi. You know, I would like to invite you people from the world to come and enjoy and visit our island. Uh, San Andres Island. Come and share our, our culture, our music, 
or or different type of activities. Uh, you speak about music. What music am I gonna hear here? As far as rising, rising, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, you could hear some reggae, but not that's not our music. So you could hear uh, some some calypso, mm. some shotis, some mento, you no, know, some 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 polka. That's our our na native rice music. You know. Po po polka. Po what was that last? Polka. Time? Polka. I've never heard of it. I'm jumping polka. I probably it's probably known and I'm just I just don't know what that is. Uh, I think you could not even find it on YouTube because you the only opportunity you could um, have and enjoy that is here in San Andreas or in Providence Island. It's, it, what is that folk, uh, what is it similar to? Um, harsh drabone, the instrument harsh drabone, a uh, tub, a metallic um, Metallic top. So you have people that play that here, yeah, like yeah. live band here. Yes, you yes. Like, you see, like the, the, the different groups that I told you, like Cari we got Caribbean style, Caribbean. we have Red Crab, Creole, Creole. Um, another is typical native uh, groups from the island. This is more calm, you know. The Caribbean so I'll show you some different sounds. Here's the beautiful island. Take me back to my side. Yeah, and the dancing is, is more like, like uh, holidays. <laughs> oh, like that. Like, we hear all different types of songs all around the Caribbean and all around, around the world. We talk three languages. So we can um, understand very well the Spanish music and also the English, English music, music and, and the Caribbean music. music. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. In Colombia, we say Costeña. 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 Costa de la Costa. Sí, sí, in Costa. <laughs> <laughs> You're speaking Portuguese right now. Why are you learning Portuguese? Uh, you see, um, okay. but always we, we surrounded yeah. by yeah. people Perfect. that come from all parts yes, of the I world. Mm. So I'm um, person like to know others language. So. so you picked up a little Portuguese from a little bit Portuguese. their port, port okay. from Brazil. From Brazil. So okay. okay. I speak a little bit of Brazil. No, because yes, uh, it's really good. Yeah, we, we can understand perfectly. You oh. see what happened? You see, by we have three language. Our tongue permits us to uh -huh. to adapt to others language exactly. too. Exactly. Are you from United States? No, I'm from San Andreas. I'm oh, native from the island. Here. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. I love here. We want to come back. Yeah. You see, anyone time. came to San Andreas, they have to repeat. Yes. Nice culture. Exactly. They heat from the, the people. You can't see it all at one time, exactly. anyways. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> We've been here for two weeks, uh, more two than weeks. Two, two weeks. Oh, they've been longer. You come to San Andreas and you want a native party, you go to Benge and Kilabar. They have music. They are where you go to hear music from the island. They heard Calixo, Polka. You heard to a little those bit of dance arts. It's located in San Luis. My name is Warwick K. Stoney. You can call me K. Okay. Um, well, all right. If you want to the tour, you can call me at the 318, 317, 9110. That is my um, address that you can cut me up. Okay. You can write me at WhatsApp or you want to call me and I will attend you. All right. Welcome to San Andreas and Big Fun. Okay. One love. Yeah. Alright All right, guys, so we're back on the road and um, I guess we're passing some more tourist areas So it's another I love San Andreas sign right here I right, got some guys over here selling um, some something to drink uh, People this you see as you can see people are using their their carts and Riding around the city enjoying your time. I want to get some more information on Ryza. All right guys, so we're not done We're still working to get the more information but as you can see here, they got like scuba diving sessions going on. Uh, so much stuff you can do, not enough time here. It, what is this place called again? This is the blowing hole. The blowing hole. Yeah, we Spanish we call it Oyo Soplador. Right here is a geyser that blow water and wind. My name is Katisha and I went to tend to my friend that come back from the United States. Okay, so Katisha, I came for you, not for the blowing hole. For what? I came for you, not for the geyser. Uh, what are you going to do with me? <laughs> I want to learn more about you. About me? Yeah. My Creole, my, my... Your culture. My culture. So okay. tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your culture here in um, San Andres. My culture speaks in English, from England and Let's France. move from here because the guy is so much money. Come on, show me your bar too, come on. My bar? Yeah. Okay. 
Business, business, what's up, brother? All right. So, you know, I, what I wanted to show is that there are people who speak like you Pete speak wrong. that are living in a Colombian territory. Oh, in Bogota, Medellin, and Cartagena. San Andres is Colombian yeah. territory, too? Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. All right. This is my my business in name Sea Wind. Sea Wind, okay. C -win. All right. Lisa Del Mar. All and right. I work here. What I drink, uh, what I sell is typical drinks. Okay. Like crazy coconut, pine juice, lemonade in coconut. We sell uh, strawberry too. This is like your main source of income uh, as yeah, far as tourism, income. Yeah, tourism is a concern. <laughs> I was here when the hurricane, because the hurricane came from this way, right? Yeah, it, come f it, it was going to Nicaragua. So it get to affect this part of the side of the island that is Punta Sur mm -hmm. is this uh, salt part. But well, this place looks uh, relatively unshaken, or it was broke down, or it was brought down. This whole thing, uh, the government give we this part of the. Oh, so they help the out slowly yeah. Yeah. because I know people are still waiting for government assistance. No, I fight and I get it. Oh, you don't play. Yeah, I don't play. <laughs> Okay. He came from behind. Yeah. And shook the nebera through the side. Uh huh. And then mash up the side. Just put this deals the other day. Okay. To could uh, start work. How long you had the business running? Well, I have this business for ten years. This is your business. It's my business. This is your. Are you an employee or are you the boss, lady? No, I am the boss. I, this is mine. That is for my sister. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. What do you mean, your sister? This, this is by my sister and the one that dropped from the Oracan Yeota. Uh huh. Is my cousin. Where's your sister? My sister? Yeah. Is not here. Okay. She was is building something up there to work with typical drinks. So. Okay. Let me get a drink because uh, I, I, you know. You want a crazy coconut? What What would you drink? Rising? <laughs> what are you saying? Crazy coconut. Cra crazy coconut? Yeah. What? I'm, I'm not really a coconut guy, but I drink it if that's something that you would drink. Okay. But you drink. What would you drop? normally drink? I drink pine juice or crazy or strawberry. Give me. Let me see the pine. Okay. Let me try the pine. All right. Uh, you know what? I love this right here. Yeah. What well, did the hurricane change this, or this is the same way it's always looked right here with the waves and everything? It's all the time look this way. Walk okay, in the car. Guys, so she, she, wow! Look how easy she does this. <laughs> this is coconut with sherry. Look at this. <laughs> All right, look, this, look. Is a, this, this is the concoction. Yes, sir. Okay. And I just take out the eyes. All right. This is ice. Ice. We mash up. You're the fastest bartender I've met. <laughs> okay. This is the pine juice. It's showing here. You want to make a rum? Of course. This okay. Is whiskey. Nice. Whiskey. So let me ask you a question. If you're not working, what are you doing? Wholesale. I, I work it. I work the whole day to the I know you're a business woman and you work every day, or you know, you always worry but about I business. Work every day, but what what is life for a woman on her day off here as a a, a riser woman? This is this the pine juice. I'm a, okay guys, I'm gonna try it right now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> oh my gosh. What I do in my rest time, I. Guys, this is good. Make sure you come <laughs> and get it. I go it to, tastes good. I go to see my children then. Mm -hmm. um, I pass a good time. I, I, I make my fast food home. I live in. You have other business? or? No, only this one. Okay. Yes, sir. So you live over there? I right. live right at room. Right. By San Luis, San Luis. Right I heard there's like a lot of uh, Morizan. How can you say it? Pronounce it. I'm saying it wrong. Morizan, how's uh, Riza or how's it? Rizal. Rizal. Morizan. There's more Riza over there in that area. Yes, sir. 
Plenty rice salt. All right. In the hill pot, have more rice salt. When I, in the zona ro rosa, I don't see too many rice salt. Pure panya. Pure, pure panya. Pure panya. Spice. Mm -hmm. Spice. But in San Luis, and in the part of the hill, have more rice salt. Mm. But the native rice salt come from the part of the hill. Let's get close to this beautiful water. Let me ask you something. Okay. Native riser, right? That's um, what are people doing uh, to make a living if they're not working in zona rolls? Uh, what what can someone do? Some work in um in hotel. Some uh -huh. work um have them then against the road. They make them typical food. Then selling crab patty. Then crab back. Then sell rondong. Then sell other things. And some work in almacen and the rest of them will make work from home they sell clothes and sell different other things okay interesting story about me i spent 10 almost 10 months in barranquilla colombia yeah while i was there i was watching a show called tele isla where yeah, it talks tele shows a lot of uh, people here. that are from here and but i understood at the time i wanted to go but the island was closed for a while how do you guys survive without having tourism during that time well, some someone like start plants. I work with just tourists, so what I do, I take and I start plant tomatoes, pimenton, uh, other things. So I sell that and look coconut, dry coconut, and sell till the tourists at the bar again in the island. So you do, you don't stop working, you can do. No, so work. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I have an aunt I, I have an aunt in California. And Hello Auntie. <laughs> she named um how's she name again? I'm at um Gracita. She wonderful. And she lived years that side. In um California. Oh okay. California, you have you no, visited um, her? her name, um, yeah. Did you visit her? No. No. You got, how you gotta you gotta go see your auntie <laughs> yeah. in the United States. Yes, sir. But you know what? I I love you guys' culture here, your accent, and um, you're willing to continue to work. Cause I'm man, eight months, almost how much was it? Eight months. Eight months. Eight months without tourism, and you you know you're waiting and everything. And trust me, I wanted to be here. I wanted to be yeah. by the beach and everything. So. And what you do? You you spent eight months in Barranquilla. I spent ten months in Barranquilla. Barranquilla. What you do? What I'm doing now, talking to you. I'm a YouTuber. Ah, this okay. is YouTube right here. Ah, you see how? Yeah, you're gonna be like famous. Right? <laughs> Mojito, Curacao, Laguna Sol. Then we have cocktail sea wind. Is my business mm -hmm. a cocktail for my business? Okay. Then we have coco fresa, strawberry, pine juice, and we have punch that is to um, taste. And then we have lemonade and coconut. Awesome. This okay. is his drinks then. All right, guys. Make sure you come see this beautiful woman. <laughs> All right, look for her. Say your name again. Katisha Yovet. Come look for Katisha when you're going to the uh, see the geyser right yeah. here in San Andreas. Katisha. Hello. All right. Okay. <laughs> so to get a picture of what these guys do, they hang out here and they wait for our cars or tour buses to pull up and they greet them. Closed mouths don't get fed, so needless to say, they wait and make sure they're vocal about their business so people know what time it is and they come to spend some money. All right, sweetie. No, no, go ahead, sweetie. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. All right, okay. So let's go check out this geyser right here. <laughs> okay, so this is what the people are doing right here. <laughs> okay, they get in front of this geyser and try to take pictures or something. So this beautiful backdrop right here. Just gotta wait until that wind waves come in. This angle right here. I think this is one of the main things. <laughs> oh, yeah, she got the business. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the main reason why people come here. Okay, to get this, uh, this geyser hole. I 
guess they could tell how big the water is gonna be based on uh, the wave that's about to hit the rocks right here. All right. Where's the water? <laughs> Let's see, hold up. Look at it. <laughs> Get close. Feet wet, guys. And then check out those massive waves that are coming through the geyser, so you can understand how this is happening. So this is how it works, guys. You gotta be careful I don't fall. And it goes right in there. So it funnels through this way, and it goes right in there into a hole, and it ends up that way. So let's see. And then it'll be there. Let's see if we get a big wave coming. All right, we got a big wave coming. Fills in there, blows out that way. Nice! Yo! Crazy! Oh, look at this one. Look at this big wave right here. Fills in. Block work. Uh, I wasn't. I think there's some build up pressure. Oh. Let me get out of here before I fall into this hole. <laughs> Me, I'll fall in. <laughs> It'll be. It won't be nice. So let's do it. <laughs> Super dope. Oh! I'm not trying to get wet. <laughs> I got wet. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're in San Luis. Uh, I just confirmed it with the teller over there. So this is supposed to be another well-known Rizal area. And I thought I'd just give you, give you how the community looks. Perhaps we can find somebody we can interview on our way walking through the neighborhood. Someone cool. I see some gentlemen hanging out there around the corner. Maybe I can talk to them about life uh, living here. Uh, see if it's cool. I like the fact that they're right close to paradise. Like there's a well-known beach right around the corner. So they don't have to really go too far. They're really close to the ocean, this community. So let's find out the situation here. This dude seems cool. This is, um, what what is the name of this area? San, San Bay, San Luis, San Bay. San Bay, San Luis, San Bay. How's your life uh, living in San Andreas? Well, everything nice right here. Everything cool. The people are kind, very, very friendly. How do you see the people of San Andreas oh. Island? <laughs> very nice, very nice. You like it? Yeah, uh, I love it, the, the energy. And I was just walking there, through this neighborhood and I noticed like you guys live really close to the water right here. Yeah, yeah, we, do, we don't need to cross the road and we are there. <laughs> uh -huh. So how is that life living next to a popular location? Well, everything is good, you know. We, 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 we find out a lot of disasters through this hurricane that just met um, Iota. But everything doing well. We have life and health, so that is the most important thing right now. Keep on ahead, going ahead, you know where that go. Listen, let me ask you a question. What what would you be able to tell the world about r people like you, born here, indigenous, Rizal people? Yeah, man. Well, tell the people all over the world to live like one. We need unity. We need to unite because I feel like a lot of things happen because we don't we, we don't have union. We don't unite. So I want to tell the people all over the world that we need to become one. You know, Bob Marley said, one love, one heart. So people, let's unite. You don't know this other than that. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he brought up Bob Marley. I was actually born on the same day as Bob Marley. Let me ask yeah. you. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Um, what, what is the, what influenced the, the culture here as far as with the youth, music-wise, and this culture, the rise of culture? It's yeah, different. Well, I'm musician. I'm, I'm artist. I'm, I'm singer. Okay. So, um, do a lot of things because you know music unite people also. Bob yeah. Marley unite the white and the black. You know. So. 
We want to continue to do that. I, I make music, I make cultural music, typical music. I play the harsh jawbone. Uh, or oh, typical it's a instrument. Po, how, how, how's the name of the um, horse jawbone? Horse jawbone. Is, yes. What's the type of music is it? Uh, we we play calypso. We do calypso, Caribbean oh. music, look reggae and and soca and souk. But here, the typical of here is calypso. That's what I do. Okay, you know? cool, 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 cool. Yeah, man. That's interesting because I've been watching a lot of Tesla Isla. Yeah, Tesla Isla. And they say something about. You gotta learn about the identity about San Andres. Yes, man. You so they know. have their own identity. Or <laughs> our, 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 our identity and our language also. We don't speak English well as you, but we, we could understand and could do it. We speak Creole, we talk Creole. Mm -hmm. That English, but more or less a difficult way to, to pronounce words. You know, maybe if I talk to you in Creole, maybe you don't understand me everything. Yeah, yeah, you understand? yeah. yeah. But, we also taught English, bro. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Well, cool. All right, man. What is the what's your uh, band name? And maybe you want to put a plug in. Maybe we yes, man. My band name is Caribbean New Style. You can search for it in Instagram, in in Facebook. It's spelled the same way. Yes, Caribbean with two B. Okay. New Style. And my name is Daner Dandan, San Andres artist, Rizal artist. Also, bigging up my culture always. Never stop do that, bro. So you could follow me and follow my group, Daner Dandan and Caribbean New Style. Always, yes, there man. you go, there you go, man. Thank you. What stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey, hey what's up, bro? Appreciate it. I love, man. Hey, take if care. You, if you know anyone else I can interview, maybe that want to get in, let me know, sure, man. Sure, sure, sure. You, you, could, you could walk in the street, bro, and ask anyone because there are people is like that. You just go and say, Hey, I want to say something to you, and, and, and they will do it. Okay. You, know, you could walk in the street and find bro and they would some, do it. Some cool people. So thank you, thank you to, to invite me here bro. I hope. No, thank you for you know <laughs> let us know you know how it is life here, you know? Cause I man, I, I can imagine like before quarantine the parties used to be yeah, crazy. You, you could find party all over, man. All over the street, maybe uh, they, they have they have cars and, and, and car have sound. So everybody on the street partying and having fun but through this quarantine and, and, and stuff like that they just have to quit all them I things. heard like in March there's like a festival you guys do Yeah, in, in September Is it in September? Uh, the Green Moon Festival Okay That's the biggest festival we have here Okay, what yeah. you do, what is what is the Green Moon Festival? For? That is a festival that uh, was, was, was they, they have it many years back but they, they try to do it again now So they're doing it big, they bring Taurus, Riley they bring uh, Kiprich, they bring, yeah, they bring um, all, Bam, Bam Fam all over, all over, you know? They have three days doing that, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, three days having fun crazy in the town side. Nice. The town side uh, uh, in the big stadium. So that's Everybody probably might. the best time, one of the best times is to come in September? Yeah man, September is a good time to come. Okay. Or oh, oh, December also. December, December, Christmas, and New Year. We have a lot of fun here in the island. Okay. So you could come. When, when, how long you be here? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be here. Maybe two more, two days. Maybe one more day. Okay. But I'm coming back. Well, I live right there, bro. You could come and visit me whenever you want. And we have fun there with my people. You, you, when you, when you, what are you doing now? Where you, where are you going, man? Right now, I'm going to meet a guy uh, up there. He, he texts me and say, bro, I'm here, so I'm gonna meet you. Oh, you gotta go link up with somebody. All right. So I, when you like, show me around, let's go. <laughs> okay, get up, man. Let's go. Get up, man. All right, my boy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Yeah, let's interview. Okay. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna have fun! Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Alright, hello. Alright, we're about to go somewhere real quick. Yeah. You're going this way, right? Where are you going? Yeah, hey, going that yeah, way. Yeah, my boy is in a car, I'm gonna tell him, hey. We're gonna, let, let's do this, man. We're gonna put music. Alright, go ahead. You got your music? You like music, man? Let's I go! Love <laughs> I love music, man. <laughs> That's my last single, man. Okay, so this is his music playing right now. Give it up. Yes, sir. That's my kids, my kids, my kids, my kids. My kids. Okay, this is his kids right here. Hey! 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 That's what's up, man. Fucking dancing to it. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go. <laughs> hey, you popular here. You're very popular. 
<laughs> yeah, bro, I'm in my home. Everyone okay. love me here, bro. Okay, that's what's up. Music that they're yeah, playing right my now. My music in Miami is gonna be crazy, man. Oh yeah, Trust man. Me. October, crazy when it's Caribbean Yo, Fest. Hey, everyone told me, American people that came here and, and look at me and see my music, they say, bro, you're losing money, man. You need to go to Miami. Hey. I say, someday I will be there. <laughs> so you could, you could tell Miami people, wait for me, I will be there. That's auntie. My Hello, Auntie. Beautiful, beautiful woman. How are you? Yeah. Beautiful she woman. She gives me food what is every your day. Name, beautiful. What is your name? My name is Margarita Martinez Pumé. Oh my God, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's that's my auntie. You speak um. Spanish, obviously, and you speak uh, yes, uh, yes. Creole. Yes, I, I speak more Captain. Okay, that's Captain. Area language, Spanish. Spanish, Creole, and English okay. as well. Okay, so how do you play your piano? Yeah. <laughs> no, I love, I love, I love when I I hear the differences when they speak when you're speaking your the native language and then you're speaking Spanish and it's like it's it's it sounds so interesting. We <laughs> got a shot today. Say ciao. What is the what is the center? I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's like a center? Uh, like a university. Oh, so, okay, there's a university right here, guys. Okay, cool. We're at Texaco, alright? And this is where I guess everybody fills up. This is a dock. Okay, so people get gas here and the boats get gas here too. Oh. Uh, all in one spot right here. Okay. Cool guys. As you can see, this is a popular place for people to come get some gas. Not bad. Keep rich. You did a song with Kibri. Kibri from Jamaica. He, he, he's a Jamaican artist. He lives right now in New York. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. So you met him or you had to swap songs on? He's here to sing. He's singing here in a festival called Water Party. Yeah. So, uh, who made the Water Party? Also, singer. Rupo Kayo, Billy. So, they're, they're friend. So, we present him the song and he love it. He say, I want to sing there. So, we make the remix. And we also have another song that named Hangle Yourself. You could, you could start for it also. Hangle Yourself and, and Skip at the Bobby. <laughs> so guys, I, what I'll do is I'll put all that information in the description so you can check out my homie's uh, music, man. That's what's up. I don't know about what it's So we had a good trip, guys. Basically learning about uh, the Rizel. There's a woman I'm gonna see if I can interview as the last thing, but uh, there was neither to say more I wanted to interview, more of the people. Um, I'm gonna I'm come back if I don't get it this time. What do you think right here? Taking it, take it. I feel like I'm gonna come back if there's a, if there's an opportunity to get something pretty much, like meet new people or interview new people, I'll come back to San Andreas. It's a beautiful island and, uh, and I knew coming here, one week was not gonna be enough. This rush over traffic now, everybody is just pretty much uh, either going home from work or they're coming from a tour or they just like us going around town. All right guys, so what an amazing day. More on the way coming from us. This is what I'm trying to give you guys. More inside look on people, real life, finding interesting people. And um, we're gonna keep on with that theme. When you hit that like button, you actually encourage the algorithm to push these videos so I can push them out more. I wanna show people in the, in the real sense. And so you, this is how you help me do that by hitting that like button for sure. Leave a comment what you thought about this whole video. And uh, more, most definitely more is on the way. What? I have no idea. I might be gearing up to go somewhere else in Colombia, a place I've never been before. And of course, I'm taking you with me, or should I? Of course I'm taking you with me. Of course, that's a no-brainer. Yo, all right.